my name is Ravi Kumar Kanukulu, Product Manager for CA Single Sign On. In this session, I will cover how CA SSO can help you to achieve the client based authorization using JWT authentication. Client based authorization is a general principle where the resource server to validate user attributes from the input token again as the policies defined in the resource server to grant access on applications. You may manage various applications and those applications grow rapidly in the digital world. And there might be a scenario in mergers and acquisitions where you need to provide authorizations to employees of your new business unit. In all of these cases, you may require to add new roles in the policies in your resource servers. If you have a valid JWT token after user is authenticated by any of your identity providers or you can build the JWT token with a set of clients after authenticated by any social login providers. JWT authentication scheme is introduced in 12.8.2 to support the client based authorizations using the clients as part of the JWT token. This slide explains the use case of granting access to users on applications based on the client values which is part of the JWD token. CASS4 does not look up for the user attributes in the user stores. Every time whenever a new request comes from the user to access applications. It can persist the client's information in session store. If the user is trying to access another application using the same session, SSO validates the role in the existing session again as the policy defined in the domain. CA SSO lets you to define the policies with the roles by using the client names and values from the JWT for every application in your organization. Since CASSO stores the clients in the session store and your application get authorization responses using the existing session. Here CA single sign on directly fetches the values in the session store and compares with the policy definition. Major use case here is any new applications are added to your security landscape. You can update the policies with the new roles for those specific applications. So the overall major benefit in using client based authorization is CASS4 removes the overhead in managing the user clients at the application level to authorize the users. So this will be taken care by CASS4 that reduces your time money to move your applications into productions very quickly. Let me take you through the runtime demo and then configuration steps in CA single sign on to achieve the use case. Here I am trying to access an application and trying to log in with Gmail credentials. After authentication, application sends the JWT token with clients and sends JWT to CA SSO to get SM session. As a user, if I am trying to access employee tab from the portal, request will go to CA single sign on. SSO validates the role for this user from the stored session information and gives the authorization back to the application. If you notice the client values from this particular JWT token, subject, email, role and title. Here the role is employee. Now the same user is trying to access manager role application for this user, manager role is not matching with the role desired by the application to give access. So it will be denied. Now let me take you to the admin UI to show the steps required to configure these roles for JWT clients. I already created JWT authentication scheme. In this authentication scheme, persistent authentication session variables must be enabled that will help to store the client's information in session store. I will explain the steps required in the domain page. I am trying to open a domain which is already created in this particular instance. Here as part of the domain page we can create the variables. 
these variables represents the client names as part of the JWT like role, email, manager and all these are the client names in the JWT token. I will show you how to create a variable very quickly. I can give a variable name as title which is a client name representation in the JWT and selecting variable type as the user context and this variable will come from the client name stored in the session with a property name as the title so this represents the actual JWT client name I'm going to create another variable with the title value with a static value as a variable type and the static value which I am looking for is the sales executive. After creating these set of variables in the policies you can add expressions with these defined variables. You can add multiple expressions with various conditions in the same expressions that will be executed in the policy definitions. I'm going to uh, show you how to add uh, another condition as part of the same expression. You can add a title which is just now created and adding the title value. I'm going to add this particular condition as part of the same expression. So overall these are the steps you need to configure in the domains and in JWT authentication scheme to achieve the client based validation. Instead of adding set of conditions in your application or to change the user store schemas, you can use JWT authentication scheme in conjunction with expressions defined in the domain policies. That would provide the seamless login experience to your end users. For more detailed information about this product, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page. From there, you can visit product documentation, support, communities, or you can see the learning paths. Thanks for watching this session.